what's up? Rock stars, rock ladies, this is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest. And um, before we get started, I just want to say that I'm a little bit disappointed with some people out there that think that this channel um, is Green Day only. And think that if I, uh, you know, if I give lessons on other groups and other bands that somehow, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing something wrong. And, um, you know, I just want to remind you guys that this is a free channel, okay? And uh, the way that I make my living normally is by playing and teaching music also. And <coughs> in my private lessons, uh, I have a different person coming in every half hour. And so not all my students like Green Day. Uh, you got, you know, I'll go from people who like country to uh, to Green Day to punk rock to heavy metal to uh, finger style to like grandmas who wanted to learn like ukulele and stuff like that. Seriously, and so I gotta switch all the time. So, um, you know, so I'm doing like country, like. Uh, So on and so forth. Um, sometimes I gotta play like uh, Latin music. Sometimes I gotta play like classical music. Sometimes I gotta do like heavy metal. Stuff like that. Um, to even like. You know, like s stuff like the, the Angry Birds theme. Or even like uh, I taught someone the uh, State Farm jingle the other day. Too. So, it's anything, you know, and um, I, I hope most of you guys out there appreciate having a versatile guitar teacher, because I think that's really important, and I would rather have a versatile guitar teacher than, you know, a one-trick pony any day of the week, okay? So, I just wanted to get that off my chest uh, before I got started with this, but uh, anyways, for those of you who, um, who, uh, didn't whine or cry about the One Direction songs, this is for you. So I got uh, Lazy Bones, a song that I had a lot of requests for. Um, and here it is. So uh, the intro, in order to learn the intro, we gotta know a couple bar chords, okay? So I need to know major and minor bar chords on the uh, fifth strip, mostly. So I'm starting off with F sharp major, Sorry, minor. Leave me on the fifth string, ninth fret. And tap talk, that would be nine, eleven, eleven, ten. That's the first chord. Next chord, I'm going up to the twelfth fret. That would be twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. It's an A major chord, still on the fifth string. And then after that, B minor chord. That would be 14, 16, 16, 15. Um, still on your fifth string. And then I'm going down to uh, E major chord, still on the fifth string. So I'm going uh, on the fifth string, it would be 7, 9, 9, 9. Okay? And you want to do each of these for two bars each. So start with F sharp minor. I'm doing eighth notes over here. I'm just going one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. So two bars each. I start minor, A, B minor, and then E. Okay. So that's the intro. And you also want to do that uh, the same amount as. You want to do that same chord progression for the verse. 
And then the pre-chorus, it changes a little bit. So the pre-chorus, I'm using... Just using power chords for that, and I'm uh, going back and forth between an A power chord and an F sharp power chord. Those are both on the sixth string, so fifth fret and second fret, two bars each. Sorry. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the intro, the verse, and the pre-chorus. Next would be the chorus. Check it out. For the chorus, I'm using power chords. I'm going to start on the fifth string, fifth fret. Got a D power chord. You go two frets up. We're using that E power chord as well. You can go two frets up. We're going to use that F sharp power chord as well. If you go down uh, one string, we have a C sharp power chord. That's also one we want to use. And then we also have an A power chord that will be on the sixth string, fifth fret. Okay. So those are just all the power chords we're using. The way you want to play it, you want to go. So I'm going to D, E, C sharp, F sharp, and then you want to go D, E, A. Okay, so all together sounds like... And then you repeat, you're going to start at D again. So up until that point is exactly the same as the first time around, um, but at that point you want to go back into the intro chord progression, okay? So that would be the end of the chorus and you want to go into the intro at that point. So you would play the... You know, the F sharp, minor, A major, so on and so forth. Okay? So, all together from the very beginning of the chorus, we get. Okay? That's the chorus. After that, we got, uh, well, we would have the intro, obviously, and then the second verse, and then the pre chorus, and then the chorus, and then uh, you want to do the intro two times through, and then that would be the start of the bridge. So here's the bridge, check it out. If you're playing rhythm guitar in the bridge, you want to do the same chords as the pre-chorus. So that would be A and F sharp, two as each. So on and so forth. And you go through it two times, just like the pre-chorus. Now, if you're playing lead, uh, you're gonna want to do, you're gonna use something that we've used before in other Green Day solos. Um, so if you've seen the other uh, lessons on Green Day songs that I've done, then uh, this will be familiar to you. And if you haven't, then this is what I'm doing. Um, this te technique happens a lot in Green Day solos. Basically, I'm using one finger on the second string to play a note. We'll call that the melody note. And then I'm using uh, another finger, my third finger specifically, on the third string. On the third string, two frets higher in order to bend up to the, the note that I'm playing on the second string. So I'm bending one and not the other. I'm bending one on the third string, but not the one on the second string. Okay, so uh, what we do with this is we're just going to move it around to different places and it kind of gets uh, a melody going. So the first place you want to have it is where your first finger is on the second string, fifth fret. So hold that for two bars, and then you want to go up two frets, and then down to the second fret. That's your first finger, second fret. So 
One, two, four, one, two. And then you want to do it again, and then change it this time. You go up to the 10th fret, and then down to the 7th fret. It's always the first finger that I'm talking about. So, four, one, two, second fret, again, 10th fret, 7th fret. That's the solo, okay? Um, after that, you're going to have another chorus. And this chorus is a little bit tricky. Um, you do it two times like you did the other chorus, but on the second time, you're going to do the first half of it twice. Okay? I'm sure you what I'm talking about. So, if you remember the other chorus, we got... That's the first time. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. So you can do this part. You can do that part again now. So you go. And then you'll finish it just like you did before. And then actually you go to the intro um, chords uh, just like you did in the other choruses. So the very last time it's like... So on and so forth. So uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, of course, by commenting. I usually answer them in a timely fashion. And um, if you didn't like this video, you don't have to watch this. If you if you don't like the One Direction videos, you don't have to watch those. Um, if you don't like the Taylor Swift videos, don't watch those either. Uh, but if you're watching this, I appreciate it anyway. So I'm Alex Bourne. I hope to talk to you soon. Cheers.